Alrighty guys, what's going on? So this is gonna be a video for my second channel. I wanted to make a video on a recent film that I watched. I actually put it in a vlog on my main channel and on my Snapchat and on my Instagram as well. I watched a movie called To The Bone and it's essentially kind of um, telling a story about anorexia recovery and just about eating disorders in general. So I'm gonna try to keep this video as unedited as possible. So a lot of people saw that I was watching it and wanted to know my thoughts about it and people were sending me snapchats and everything. I'm just going to kind of go over the, I guess, the plot synopsis or whatever. Uh, long story short, girl is um, from kind of a broken home, has two parents uh, that are divorced. Her mom is a lesbian and has a wife um, and she had been dealing with an eating disorder for however long she was dealing with with it uh, with her mom and um, then her mom kind of just threw her hands up in the air and uh, the girl left to go live with her dad who um, has a wife and the wife isn't very accepting um, of the uh, the girl I can't remember her name um, Ellen Ellie yeah Ellen is the main girl in the film that has anorexia so um, anyway, so she goes to live with her uh, her dad slash stepmom, and eventually realizes that uh, she needs to go to treatment, and so um, she gets checked into a treatment place, and uh, that's where Keanu Reeves plays the main doctor, and um, and plays the main, I guess, kind of like secondary character throughout the film. So, she, so basically. The entire film, and I'm, not, I'm gonna try not to spoil it for you guys, but uh, I will be talking about key, I guess, areas that really matter in the entire movie. Um, so, you know, she goes and she goes to treatment and, and whatever. Um, a lot of people have been saying that it's not necessarily a realistic uh, view of how anorexia is and how uh, to treat anorexia and how to treat, um, I guess, eating disorders in general. Um, there is, I mean, there are gonna be, there are gonna be some spoilers here, but not, hopefully it won't be too much, but um, it, I can't really say whether or not, like uh, that's the biggest question people have been asking me whether I think it's really realistic or not. And uh, it, at several points during, during the movie, it almost kind of infuriated me um, to watch it. Uh, I mean, earlier on in the movie, the, uh, she goes to live with the dad and the stepmom and the stepmom actually um, says that she has to weigh her in order for her to not be in treatment, in order for her to live with them. And so she makes her step on a scale. And um, the girl, Ellie, noticeably was distraught and everything about actually even having to be on a scale. And she makes her step off a scale and she whips out her phone and takes a picture of her and then gives her the phone and says, do you think this is what beautiful looks like? And um, that almost, I know it's a movie and everything, but I know that across the world, across America, across so, so many different countries with how much, um, how many eating disorders exist out there now that people, parents um, are doing things like this. And it's so morbid and fucked up. Um, and to see that, I guess, is, um, uh, it was very disturbing to me. Uh, a lot of people, I would say, since 99% of the people that are just watching Netflix and haven't dealt with eating disorders are probably just like, oh, well, I mean, that's what I would do with my kid. And that's, that's the problem. Um, so that was pretty disturbing to me. Um, it kind of, there were some morbid parts in it. I feel, I felt like, um, it, Ellie's in a treatment place with a bunch of different people. Um, and one in particular, a girl actually had a child and she loses it during um, the movie and again that's probably gonna be a big spoiler to you guys so I'm sorry but <laughs> um, but the way that they kind of talk about it I guess and showcase not really showcase it but they show it was kind of disturbing to me um, that part I won't really talk about but uh, I guess in in the you know in a general sense just the way that uh, you know, she goes and she lives with these different characters in, in this house and they kind of just talk about eating disorders like, oh, you have, um, oh, you're a perjurer, are you not a perjurer? Um, and they, the, the way they talk about it in like a treatment slash clinical setting was, it was almost identical to how I 
was in treatment. I actually had to stop the movie halfway through because I, I, I found myself almost like kind of, not scared, but just really freaked out how, how creepily similar it was to how I went went through everything. Um, there's like a, a scene where um, Ellie's doing sit-ups in her bed and she's next to uh, this girl uh, who is uh, purging and she's hiding it um, throughout the house or whatever and then Ellie goes well I found your purge stash and she goes well you know do you want to keep a secret and so they basically have like a mutual agreement that they're not, they're not going to tell the uh, telling each other about their behaviors and it's pretty much how things were in my my setting as well um, Ellie develops a love interest I guess during the uh, her stay in this this uh, place and it's really weird because this place is it's a house and that's like and it's a very like not monitored environment which is really that was like the opposite of how my treatment place was you know when I went inpatient that was it was it was almost like you were in, in prison and that's the exact opposite of what this entire uh, setting looked like in the movie but um, and so for the most part Ellie does pretty well throughout the film um, I the real I guess the straw that bro broke the camel's back for me and the reason why I had to actually turn the movie off was because um, Ellie develops a, uh, a love interest during um, during the movie and um, she begins to start falling I'm, I'm not, I don't really think love is the right word here but she she starts liking this guy and um, they kind of um, there's a scene in the film where the, the guy's a dancer and um, he knows that his knees is not doing well and so he eventually goes to see the doctor and gets like a procedure done uh, in order for him to get to recover um, <laughs> He does this without knowing that Ellie's planning on leaving, and um, he gets the procedure done and knows he's going to be in recovery. He's not going to be able to move for weeks upon weeks upon weeks, and uh, probably months. And goes home to find that he's face to face with Ellie, and she has all of her bags. And he goes, "Oh, where are you going? I wouldn't have done this without." You know, like, you're the reason why I'm I'm still doing so well here. Like, I did this because I knew I was going to be around you and be with you. And um, I'm not going to say everything about my treatment plan, uh, but something similar happened with me. And uh, that was kind of like... It was, it was basically throughout the entire movie just sending back almost, like, identical memories about what happened with me. Um, even though it wasn't so, like, I didn't have, like, a knee injury and all that, but, um, so, you know, looking back on, on the movie and everything, I would say it, it, you know, the, if we come back to the big question about whether it's not realistic, it's not realistic at all, guys, it's Hollywood, they want to, um, you know, make the most appealing movie ever, like, think about it from the perspective of, like, if you were a viewer, and you were just watching something on Netflix, you would not want to see, uh, in reality, like, you, you don't want to watch a bunch of underweight people in a hospital getting weighed and eating food all day. Like, they have to make it appealing to the average viewer. So, um, I would, honestly, I'd give it, you know, if it were just a, a rating system, I'd give it a 6 out of 10. Like, it's great, because people were like, it's so unrealistic, I can't believe, like, there were, when this movie was released, there was so much, uh, outcry over it there were so many people going like that's terrible how could they do that um i believe it was written by somebody that was in recovery or is in recovery from an eating disorder so i know that the intentions are good um and that's the thing guys is the intentions are good there's so many people that are going to watch this and go oh, shit like uh either someone close to me has it someone i know has it or i just didn't know that people actually went through that and that guys actually have an eating disorder or can get eating disorders that is where I was like, yes, because there's a guy in this movie. I can't tell you guys how many times I would I was in treatment and I would open a book, I would watch a movie, or I would just read something, and it was all about women getting eating disorders. And I'm not downplaying that. I'm not downplaying. I'm not trying to like throw the gender thing at it at all. But it's very, very, very difficult to recover from something as debilitating as an eating disorder when you're constantly told that your gender is immune to it when it, it's not the case at all 
Um, so just the fact that there was an actual guy in the movie um, was, I guess, it was it was very it was good. Um, now for whatever reason, um, I would have, and I, I I don't really I don't want people to get the wrong impression when I do say this, but because I don't really believe in you know heteronormative masculinity and all of these you know typical masculine men that seem to like exist now in the world but uh, masculinity is however you want it to be constructed within yourself that's my own belief but if I'm going to look at the guy that was portrayed in this film he's very I don't want to say immasculine but he's definitely not the, the most masculine guy in the world if that makes any sense uh, he's a dancer he's um, very very on the thinner side he's very flamboyant he's very um, he's what I guess people in Hollywood, and I would say um, this is just completely my own interpretation of it. Um, people would probably watch it and go, okay, well, that's probably a, a homosexual guy until they actually see that he develops a love interest for, for Ellie, which is which is good. But I would have liked to have seen there more of, and I guess I get that this is totally not realistic in Hollywood land, but I would have liked to have seen a guy that was, I guess, a little bit more um, built, maybe somebody that was overweight or somebody that was obese, that was de that had developed a uh, binge eating disorder or something like that. Maybe two guys in the house or maybe three guys in the house. Something that kind of, um, I guess, makes it a little bit more normal. Um, but that was just my own view of it. Um, so, you know, again, like there, there are numerous things throughout the film that I, I talked about already that weren't realistic. I mean, for me, uh, the biggest thing that I kind of, I, I laughed at was the fact that whenever they would sit down for meals, um, they're again in a house, they're not in a hospital, but they would sit down for meals and everything, when they would sit down, they just go, okay, well you can eat the, the person that forced, that overlooks the entire house and everybody and goes, you know, you can eat whatever you want as long as it shows up on the scale. <laughs> really? So there's basically, they show this girl recovering from binge, binge eating disorder getting a, a, a spoonful of peanut butter and just eating out of a jar of peanut butter and it flashes over to Ellie and she's eating chicken, fried, like, fried chicken and she's cringing and she's eating it. She's cutting out every single little breading of and every morsel of chicken. I'm like, like that's, when it, in reality, when you go and you eat, you actually have to be, the, the entire uh, focus around meal times is actually to look at what a normal person's meal is supposed to look like. So when you have people still exhibiting disorder tendencies around food, you're not fixing the problem. That's what, that's what being in an inpatient and clinical setting is all about. So that was the biggest, I guess, uh, thing for me when I, when I looked at how realistic this movie was. It was completely unrealistic when it looks at somebody's meal times um, when you're in recovery. Um, so that's just, I guess, something I took away from it. Now, that was pretty much the entire movie, and I, again, I apologize for spoiling it. Uh, but I assume most of you have already seen it. So if you guys have your opinion, leave it down below and uh, let me know what you guys thought. So thanks for watching the video, guys. I'll see you in the next one.